my name is Coley, one of the educators at the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. And today I'm going to show you how to make snow dough with just two ingredients that you probably already have at home. The two things you're going to need for this experiment are cornstarch and hair conditioner. You can also make this with lotion, but I have never tried that before. I've done it with a conditioner and had it work pretty well. Um, so this is a good experiment you can do with older children um, or younger children or both. It's a good one where if you have older kids, you can have them maybe do more of the mixing and the measuring and younger kids are going to be more interested in the part where you get to play with the snow dough and have that tactile experience. Um, so the ratio of these ingredients is two to one. Um, and this is something where you can bring in a little bit of math and a little bit of science when you're doing the experiments. Um, we want to have twice as much of the powdery cornstarch as we do of the liquidy conditioner. Um, so it's a two to one ratio. You can make a bigger batch by doing maybe two cups of cornstarch if you have a lot at home and one cup of conditioner. We're gonna do one cup of cornstarch today and half a cup of conditioner and that's gonna make a little bit of a smaller batch. Um, so when we mix these two things together, this is something you can talk to kids about, is that once we mix them together, we're taking two different things and we're making something new. Um, it's not gonna be a mixture like maybe trail mix where if you have a favorite part of it, like the chocolate chips, you can pick those back out. Once we put this um, cornstarch together, we're gonna put the cornstarch in first, and we put it together with a conditioner, we're gonna make the dough, and it would be very, 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 very hard, if not impossible, to make this into just cornstarch and conditioner again. Um, and this is something that you can talk to kids about when you do something like baking, making muffins or cake. It's another place where you can talk about some of these science principles. So I put my cornstarch in. I'm gonna put the conditioner in now. It might be a little bit harder to get this in because it's thicker. And we're mixing together a liquid with a solid. Even though the cornstarch is powdery and thin and it's really, really tiny parts, it's still a solid. And even though our conditioner is really, really thick and not all of it came out of our little measuring cup, it's still a liquid. It takes on the shape of the container it's in. And then when we mix these two things together, the cornstarch is what people use to make food thicken up and get thicker. So the cornstarch is gonna make it thicker. And conditioner makes your hair really soft and smooth. So the conditioner part of this recipe is what's going to make your dough feel soft in your hand. We call it snow dough because it's white. But if you wanted to make this snow dough another color, you could add food coloring as a step. I would add it right to the conditioner and mix it up. Um, whatever you add, whatever color you add is going to come out a little bit um, pale. Like if you make, if you put red food coloring in, you're going to end up with pink because it's mixing with white. So you could do a little color mixing with this as well. Um, so now I've mixed it together a little bit and when I grab it, it's warm. It actually <laughs> gives off a little bit of heat. Um, so when something gives off a little bit of heat, it's called an exothermic reaction. Um, so that's something else you can talk about a little bit if you'd like to. Um, but when I, when I reach in and start playing with this, it should stick together pretty well and not stick to my hands too much. If it's sticking a lot to your hands, you can add, a, it's probably a little bit too much conditioner, you can add a little bit more cornstarch to it. Um, and if, it's, if it seems like it's too dry, you can just add a little more conditioner. So it's a two to one ratio, but it's not perfect. You can always add a little bit more if you need to. Um, but you should come out with a dough that's soft, it's moldable. You could use this to make a snow person. You could use it to um, use with cookie cutters. So we can put it down and we can take a cookie cutter or a stamp and press into it. Um, and this is something that once you make it, um, kids can play with it for a while. Uh, it does last. If you want to save it, you can put it in an airtight bag and it should last um, at least for a couple weeks as snow dough. And it can dry out, but I don't think it's the kind of dough you can use to make um, little clay projects or anything like that, because when it dries out, it gets quite crumbly and it will crack up. Um, but if you, other things that would be fun to add into here are glitter, maybe some color. Um, you could, once kids have made it to play with, you could get pipe cleaners and pom-poms and different things and stick it in. Very, it's very similar to Play-Doh, but it's a little drier um, and it, it smells better <laughs> as well.